Welcome back guys uh, to Diamond Protection Training. What we're going to have a look at today is a triple fisherman's or double, whatever you want to do, but for this we're going to do a triple fisherman's knot, which will make a loop, a prussic loop, and then we're going to show you how to tie a prussic knot in a line. So this is just a bit of rope. I've got a prussic made up. This is not official rope for using in rope rescue, but it's just to show you. So you just take two ends of a rope, overlap them, Remember I showed you a barrel knot once before, you put your thumb on the rope, wrap around it three times. This is a similar thing with a prussic, with a uh, fisherman's I should say. So you go one, two, three, take your thumb out, we've made that a bit short, let's try it again. One, two, three, that's a bit better. Take your thumb out, poke that through the hole, pull it tight. Turn the rope around. Same thing with the other section of rope. Round your thumb, one, two, three. Take your thumb out, put the rope through the hole, pull it tight. Now when you pull these together, they will fall, form a triple fisherman's. Now this rope is not the best rope to use, but I wanted to just show you how to tie the knot. I can dress it up and get it to pull tight how you want it. But that's what it should look like when you're finished. These should run away from each other like that. So that's the knot, the triple fisherman's. Now, we use this in rope rescue. Not so much nowadays, um, but back in the day we used to use these for climbing. We still do use them. You can use them um, to, as a stop on a rope. You can use them to, as a fuse in a rope. We might talk about fuses later. But if you're going to use this to climb, this is how you would do it. You take the rope, you would pass this through itself three times. Once, twice, and then three times through itself. And then we just dress it. You often hear us talk about dressing knots. We want them to look good. We're hanging our life off of them. So you'll get this effect. And you could climb with this if you wanted to. You might have seen John and myself show you how to put a foot loop in and climb. Well, this was a, since this is a short one, this would go here. You would stand up, slide this up, and then you would sit in it, and it would hold your weight. And you could do that and climb up, as so long as you had two of these, two prussics, one for your foot, and one for here, you can climb in it. And they're a great knot, really, because, like I said, you can use them in a line um, as a brake system in a line. You could look, use them like a shunt in a line, and you can use them to climb. So. For today, that's all we're going to show you. The first one was a triple fisherman's. Remember, it's an easy knot. It's like the barrel knot I showed you earlier on. Three times around, poke the line through. You'll get that set up. This, you can see, is only a double. I said you could use double or triple. So you can see that's only a double fisherman's. Either way, they work. Uh, everyone likes to do make sure of safety nowadays, so they do three. But you can get away with two. So thanks guys for watching us again. I appreciate you coming on and watching us on YouTube. We've got some uh, good stuff coming up with regards to climbing, vert rescue, confined space rescue, BA, uh, and all those type of things. So get on YouTube and have a look at us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We invite you to get back and look at our next one in this series of how to or not in vertical rescue. Thanks guys.